Gary here, and today I'm going to talk about just, you know, the past year of games, you know, most, most notably FPS games because I do a lot of FPS on this channel. Just the games that have been coming out and like how I have liked them, you know, this 2016 was a year with Titanfall 2, Battlefield 1, Modern Warfare Remastered, Infinite Warfare, um, all kinds of stuff, you know, all kinds of games have been coming out, so, I mean, some of them are bound to be bad, some of them are bound to be good, some of them I like more than others, <clears throat> and that's what I'm gonna talk about, and I guess since this, I'm playing Modern Warfare Remastered, I guess I'll just talk about Modern Warfare Remastered. Now, I can't really compare this to the, to the original COD 4 because I did not play the original COD 4. That was before my time, you know, way, 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 way before my time. I started on Black Ops 1, actually, and I really liked Black Ops 1, and I started playing seriously on Modern Warfare 3, and Modern Warfare 3, I really like Modern Warfare 3. And then I went back and played, like, Modern Warfare 2. I played a very little bit of Call of Duty 4. But, see, I wasn't there for the glory days of COD 4 at all. You know, I wasn't even playing video games at that point in time. Same thing with MW2. Wasn't really there for the glory days of Modern Warfare 2. So, I mean, I really... I, you, I guess you could say I'm not really a, a COD vet. I mean, it depends on what you, you know, classify the vet as. You classify him as somebody who's been just playing a lot for a long time, or someone who's been playing a lot of the games, who's played pretty much all the Call of Duty games, and has bought them consistently over the years. I've buy, I've, I have buy them consistently over the years. I love Call of Duty. But I just wasn't there for those, um, the OG ones. I was there for World at War, though. I played quite a bit of World at War. You know, once I started going back and um, playing all the Call of Duty games. So, I mean, it's, I mean, I guess you could say that I'm not like a vet or something like that. But I, I consider myself a pretty veteran to first person shooters anyway, especially on console. I've been playing them for so long, it's, you know, kind of second nature. I've just been playing video games for so long, it's kind of second nature. But, um... Modern Warfare Remastered is a very fun game. Some things are very annoying, but I love Modern Warfare Remastered. It's pretty much, you know, my favorite Call of Duty is Black Ops 2. It's boots on the ground, and that's what I love about it so much. You know, Black Ops 2 gave me that boots on the ground, you know, movement, and that's really what I love, you know, boots on the ground. Black Ops 3 was okay, and, um... I can live with that movement, but I really want that boots on the ground. And I think that's most people. Modern Warfare Remastered. <coughs> I'm not even going to edit that out. Modern Warfare Remastered is really fun. Has a couple of annoying things, but, um, you know, that's just because I wasn't there for the original and I'm just not used to these things. But once I've gotten used to Jug and Last Stand and all these things, once I do, because I'm still not used to all of this, all this stuff. I'm gonna like the game a lot more. Modern Warfare Remastered is a very good game. Okay, I love playing it. I sit down and play it forever. You know, I can sit here and play it for three, four hours straight if I want to. Even when I stop the streams or when I, when I after I've made a video, I still go back and keep playing because I love playing it. So Modern Warfare Remastered for me is probably the best thing that has came out in 2016. to play the most and yes it's not battlefield one battlefield one it's just not that great to me you know it this is live so you know i'm actually playing right now i'm just not reacting to all the craziness i'm doing right now i'm playing really well but um modern warfare remastered is the best thing that came out for me i freaking love this game it's probably because i just like call of duty call of duty is I don't really get Call of Duty out of anything else. Oh god, I'm going off.
I don't really get Call of Duty from anything else, you know? So, Modern Warfare Remastered, I love it, man. It's so much fun. Especially with my friends. But, that's my opinion on Call of Modern Warfare Remastered. You know, it's... I think it's the most fun thing. I have the most fun with this out of anything that came out in 2016. Um, I guess next we could talk about Battlefield 1. Now, Battlefield 1... Uh, Battlefield 1 is a very good game, okay? Very, very, very good game. But the thing about Battlefield 1 is that I just don't get battlefield from it like it's so it's good it's so good but i just don't have that much fun playing it it's not it's just not fun to me like i don't know what it is about it i don't really have really concrete evidence behind why i don't think the game is that great i just feel like it's not that fun to me i just there's no like i can't give you reasons for oh this is why i like call of duty this year better than battlefield i have five right now i can't give you five six reasons ten reasons for why i'm just having more fun playing call of duty but i don't know i just battlefield one is just not clicking for me you know i can play battlefield four i love playing battlefield four i can play battlefield hardline especially hardline i still to this day sit down and play that game for two or three hours but battlefield one i just don't have fun you know i'm kind of burnt out on it i think i've I, I and i've only played like 60 70 hours i really haven't done much on the game and i'm i'm just not having that much fun at I just don't have that much fun playing Battlefield 1. Now, I'm not saying it's a bad game. The campaign was great. Probably the best Battlefield campaign in any Battlefield game. I love that campaign. Um, the the multiplayer is so chaotic. It's It's really good. In certain moments, I have a lot of fun. But on certain moments, I don't have a lot of fun. You know, I just... It's something that I can't really you know, in a whole week, play two or three hours a night on that game, you know, I just don't have that much fun playing it, now, it's a great game, okay, if, I feel like it's just, I don't know, it's a great game, it, I just don't have that much fun playing it, so, I just, I just don't play it that much, you know, so, that's my opinion on Battlefield 1, Battlefield 1, it's a great game, it's just, I don't know, it just doesn't click for me, you know? At all. It doesn't click. At all. I really wish it did, because, you know, people love that game, and I wish I could, you know, be one of those people praising it, you know? I, I am praising it, it's just not as hard as everyone else is. And I feel like once the hype died down... Other people started to realize too, you know, it's a good game, but it has a long way to go When all the DLCs come out, it'll be a lot better, you know, it still could be improved, you know, substantially Definitely definitely can be improved But you know, that's fine. I'm looking forward to those improvements with the, with the DLC coming out very very soon They shall not pass, you know, all Everybody's pretty hyped for that. I'm really hyped for that. You know, I'm ready to use that label. As soon as I get my hands on that label, I'll probably make a microtage with it. And, um, see what kind of clips I can hit with it. See if it's actually good. If it is good, you know, I'll be excited to play with the new weapons. The Chow Shot. Uh, people are saying that's a really good gun. And people are saying it's like the the everybody in the cte is saying it's like the new best lmg and i want to figure that out i want to see if it's actually good so i'm definitely ready for um this new battlefield one dlc and hopefully it you know gets me motivated to play a little more because i definitely do need to be playing battlefield one a lot more than i do um i guess next we can talk about Titanfall 2. Now, Titanfall 2 is another thing, just like Battlefield 1. Titanfall 2 is so good. I absolutely love Titanfall 2, okay? But, 
I just haven't played as much of it because I think Titanfall 2 I just haven't played as much of it because I've been playing things like Modern Warfare Remastered and I've been playing things like Battlefield 1 and I just haven't you know really played Titanfall that much I love Titanfall Titanfall is so much fun you know but I just haven't really had you know the drive to play Titanfall you know really heavy and that's something that Device does a lot. You know, Caden, Device, he plays a lot of Titanfall. You know, Titanfall is kind of his thing. You know, he's a lot better than me at the game. And I, I, I will wholeheartedly admit that just because I don't play it as much. Titanfall is great. I just, you know, don't really do that much with it. I just don't play it. I, I really need to play it, but I know I really need to play it, but, you know, I feel like it deserves my playtime, you know? When you listen to the community playing your, their, your like, your first game, you listen to everything that's coming out of their mouths, you listen, okay, there's not enough guns, we'll put in some new guns, there's not enough titans, we will put in some new titans for you guys. When you get that out of a dev, that is amazing, they are listening. They, they know what the people want, and that's what I loved about that. You know, when the first Titanfall was fun, but it didn't have a campaign. You guys want a campaign? We'll give you a campaign. Now, the first Titanfall was fun, but it didn't have that many Titans or weapons. You guys want more Titans and weapons and just more content, period? That's what we'll do. Um, you guys want more camels on the weapons? That's what we'll do. And... Just, you know, if you feel like it, we'll put in some, yes, there's microtransactions, but they do not affect the game whatsoever. They're just camos. And because I respect that game that much, I respect, you know, Respawn Entertainment, I I bought the microtransactions. I, I bought those camos because I respect what they've done. If you do something good for me, if you listen to me, if you you know, really care about your game as much as Respawn and EA did, and you want to make the consumer happy as much as they did, I will wholeheartedly p spend money on your game. Definitely. It's no question about it, you know. When you listen to the community like that, I think everybody will, you know. And even the people who really embraced Titanfall 2, they were sending things out like, um... You know, cool, like, collector's edition helmets. There's a helmet in the collector's edition. A pilot helmet in the collector's edition. How can you not respect these guys? You know, they are doing it right over there at Respawn Entertainment. And I hope they make a third Titanfall and improve on Titanfall 2. You know, I love this, that Titanfall game. But I just haven't played it that much. And I feel like I need to do that. Definitely definitely need to do that now. I guess for the last But not least the most hated game. I'm about to talk about Call of Duty Infinite Warfare now Infinite Warfare is Mediocre at best I The game doesn't kill me inside, you know the game doesn't rip me apart and I just don't want to play it but it's, I mean, I can play the game, but, you know, I'd just rather play something else, you know, Modern Warfare, like, Infinite Warfare just doesn't, you just don't really want to respect that game, you know, how, it does the literal opposite of what Titanfall 2 did. They did not care about the community, the Call of Duty community, they did not care what came out of anyone's mouth, they didn't care that, they, that we didn't want supply drops. They didn't care that we didn't want advanced movement. They didn't care that we didn't want this. They didn't care that we didn't want that. They put it there anyway. Now, I understand with the movement thing, the game was already halfway through development when everybody said, you know, I don't want movement anymore. They can't really change that. But you could have at least toned it down, right? Like, yes, it's toned down from Black Ops 3, but you could have toned it down even more. And if you... And we said we didn't want these supply drops, Activision. You know, get these out of our face. And then you went right ahead and did and did and did this, the depot on Modern Warfare Remastered, which nobody did. So no one wants to respect Infinite Warfare, Activision, Infinity Ward, any of those people, as 
you know, devs and publishers just because they do things that you don't want them to do. You specifically say, I don't want this, and they do it anyway because of their selfish, you know, money-hungry business practices. And that's why people are hating on Infinite Warfare so bad. It's not because the game is bad. It's because of what they did to the game. So, um, I, it, mediocre Infinite Warfare. The best thing that came out in 2016 was definitely Modern Warfare Remastered. That's all for today, guys. Peace out.